Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin has been diagnosed with prostate cancer. That's according to officials from Walter Reed National Military Medical Center. The revelation comes after Austin was unaccounted for for four days last week. Austin underwent surgery to treat and cure the cancer on December 22nd. He then returned home the next morning, though, and he was readmitted to the hospital due to complications. In light of the secretary uh, diagnosis, tonight we spoke to a Tucsonan with prostate cancer and his doctor. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink has the story every man over 40 should see. The words prostate cancer are very scary for every man to hear, but if detected early, the cancer is very treatable. The patient I spoke with was diagnosed nearly two years ago and is doing much better today. Funny thing, I, I, didn't, I wasn't scared. I didn't get scared about the whole thing because um, I felt that I was in good hands. Tom Marshall was diagnosed with prostate cancer in February of 2022, three months later. He had his prostate removed. I was having trouble um, sleeping through the night without getting up to go to the bathroom, and my prostate was enlarged. Tom took a PSA, or prostate-specific antigen blood test. That's when his cancer was detected. Urologist Paul Yurkanen with TMC is Tom's doctor. Most men should have a discussion about prostate cancer screening at ages 45 to 50, but if signs or symptoms of prostate cancer develop, they can be the weak urine stream, difficulty emptying the urinary bladder, as well as sometimes blood in the urine. After almost two years of consistent treatment and care, Tom says he's feeling well, and he hopes his cancer is at bay. If you have any kind of a concern or question, see your doctor and be totally honest with the doctor. Don't be ashamed. Don't try to hide anything. According to the Prostate Cancer Foundation, your diet has a lot to do with it. Eating certain foods can help you avoid prostate cancer. Foods like cooked tomatoes, broccoli, and cauliflower. Also, incorporating healthy fats like nuts and avocado into your diet and staying away from processed meats. On the West Side, I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson. And the nonprofit Zero Prostate Cancer says 77 men out of 100,000 are diagnosed with prostate cancer. The research goes on to say that 17 out of those 100,000 die from the disease.